Francis Bard District Municipality, the Diamond Fields. Named after Ma Bart, the woman who played an important role in the struggle for democracy in South Africa. Rich, not just in real diamonds and diggings, but also in authentic history, culture and agriculture. Kimberley. Known as the Diamond Fields of the Northern Cape, the rewarding leisure and adventure destination of Southern Africa that offers thrilling wildlife, adventure encounters, as well as an exhilarating opportunity to participate in wealthy cultural and historical heritage. Nestled in the northeastern corner of the Northern Cape, it's a great stopover on the alternative Johannesburg to Cape Town route. Its heart lies in Kimberley, the capital city of the Northern Cape province. Our district is predominantly a mining and agricultural district, but also offers rich experience in terms of our culture and history. Home to the last remaining Sun communities, the Kung and the Kwe community, which has cultural villages where the history can be observed. The climate is favorable for outdoor living with a great number of sunny days throughout the year. Our rain mainly falls from September to April and two of the largest rivers, the Orange and the Val, flow through our district. Salt Plaiki region is named after the famous writer and the first ANC Secretary General Solomon Tsekiso Plaiki. Kimberley is the tourist playground of the Salt Plaiki municipality with a vibrant and colorful history. Well known for its big hole and mine museum, the largest hand excavated hole on earth. Alexander M.C. Gregor Memorial Museum. The original museum opened in 1907 in memory of Alexander McGregor. It was restored for its centenary in 2007. Battlefields Route The many battlefields of the Anglo-Boer War between 1899 and 1902 can be explored on the well-marked N12 route. Belgravia Historical Walk the oldest exclusive residential suburb originated in the 1870s. Self-guided tours are conducted and starts at the McGregor Museum. Burger Monument, the Magersfontein. The gravesite of Boers killed in the Anglo-Boer Wars Western Campaign in 1899-1902. Duggan Cronin Gallery, revamped photographic gallery with ethnographic emphasis. The core collection consists of some 8,000 photographs taken by Irishman A.M. Duggan Cronin between 1919 and 1939. Flamingo Casino, the casino offers an elegant leisure experience with its Victorian inspired decor. The casino itself is a coinless environment and punters use state-of-the-art smart car technology. Freddie Tate Golf Museum, the first golfing museum in South Africa. Ghost Trail, the haunted corners of a city that was plagued by war and mine disasters. Halfway House, once the Halfway Hotel, the legend has it that Rhodes, when passing on the way to the sanatorium, was served with a drink while mounted. Honoured Dead Memorial Designed by Sir Herbert Baker and built by C.J. Rhodes, behest to honour those who died defending Kimberley during the siege. Long Sissel, the De Beers manufactured field gun used during the siege, is mounted on a styler bait surrounded by shells from the Boer Long Tom. Comfers Dam, a 400 hectare perennial wetland located 2 kilometers north of Kimberley, supporting the largest permanent population of lesser flamingos in southern Africa. Africa's only artificial breeding island and a variety of other interesting water birds such as black-necked grebe and chestnut banded plover. Kimberley Club, a national monument since 1984, established in August 1881. 
Amongst his more illustrious past members, it counted Cecil John Rhodes, Leander Starr Jameson, Charles Daniel Rudd, Barney Bernardo, Sir Ernest and Harry Oppenheimer. McGregor's Museum, built in 1897 at Rhodes instigation as a hotel and health resort. It became McGregor's Museum's headquarters in 1971. Displays include natural history, the Siege of Kimberley, a hall of religions and the acclaimed Ancestors Gallery depicting three million years of human history in the Northern Cape. Oppenheimer Memorial Gardens and Digger's Fountain, a memorial to Sir Ernest Oppenheimer, mining magnate and erstwhile mayor of Kimberley. Surrounded by a rose garden, the Miner's Memorial of Digger's Fountain, comprising a fountain statue of five miners holding up a sieve that was erected to honor diamond diggers, past and present. Pioneers of Aviation Memorial Site of South Africa's first flying school. Started in 1913, pilots of the South African Aviation Corps, later the South African Aviation Force, were trained here. A replica of the Compton Peterson biplane trainer is on view. Road statue, portrait astride his horse and a map of Africa on his lap. Rudd House, formerly the lavish home of H.P. Rudd, a mining magnet now part of the McGregor's Museum, which was restored to its full grandeur and declared a national monument in 1990. Salt Plyke House, a founder member of the ANC and its first Secretary General, Plyke started out recording events of the Anglo-Boer War and went out to make significant contributions to South African journalism and literature. Star of the West, formerly a hotel and today South Africa's oldest continuously operating pub bar dating back to the 1870s. Transport Museum. On display is a cabin of real steam locomotives, the cycle used by the Southern Rhodesian volunteers during the Anglo-Boer War and model trains. William Humphreys Art Gallery, one of the most important galleries in the country, housing a representative collection of South African works, 16th and 17th century Flemish and Dutch old masters, and English and French masters. Magersfontein Memorial Golf Estate is a new upmarket golf estate. Mokala National Park. South Africa's newest park provides protection to many endangered species in amongst beautiful camel thorn tree plains. A glimpse of history in Khalesewe Township, one of the oldest townships in South Africa, named after Chief Khalesewe, the Tlaping Khosi Chief. Northern Cape Provincial Legislature, the distinctly African-inspired building captures the spirit and aspirations of the people. Robert Sabukwe House Robert Mangaliso Sabukwe, the founder and first president of the Pan-Africanist Congress, spent his last year practicing law in Kimberley under a banning order. Breaking away from the ANC's passive stance to form the PAC in 1958, Sobukwe railed support for the massive 1960 anti-protests. After police killed 69 people at Sharpville, they arrested Sobukwe, sentenced to imprisonment on Robben Island, and he was released after nine years to live under house arrest in Naledi Street. Mahering Region Wellington is the major town in Mahering and is crossed by two national roads, N18 from northwest and N12 connecting the Western Cape and Gauteng. Originally a produce center for diamond diggers, today it is an important railway junction for the Cape Zimbabwe and Cape Gauteng lines. Wellington is a home for Transcar Holiday Resort facing the banks of the Vaal River while it also boasts many historical attractions such as blockhouses dating back to 1899. Dikhatlong region 
The hub of Dikratlong, Barclay West, was founded as a mission village in the area formerly known as Nil, Face of God. In 1870, diamond diggers proclaimed the area the Republic of Cliff Drift. Dalport's Whip is situated in the confluence of the Harts and Vaal Rivers and was an important center in the boom days of alluvial diamond mining. Here, locals make a living by collecting alluvial stones for garden decoration. Pokwani Region Pokwani embraces Hartswater, Pampirstad, Jan Kemdorp and the Falharts Valley. The fertile Falharts Valley in the midst of semi-desert contains the extensive Falharts irrigation scheme. Hartswater is the home of Olive South Africa and offers tourist accommodation and leisure activities. Nearby is the historical burial site of Chief Khalishewe. Visitors can enjoy local wines at the Hartswater Wine Cellar and explore the site of the two World War II concentration camps.